morning, folks. I'm Katie Johnson, and I'm going to give you a little walkabout and, and hand wave on the custom uh, Bar 22 uh, transporter that I designed and built. Uh, basically, just briefly, the tractor, it's a Sterling Actera, uh, long wheelbase, got a cat uh, engine, uh, Allison automatic transmission. Uh, very, very simple in the cabin. It's also got uh, factory uh, Boxnell uh, Marlin Harrington uh, all-wheel drive. And then on the back, uh, we got a flatbed, 10-foot uh, flatbed that I built. Super strong. It's made out of the center section of a, of a big fifth-wheel um, uh, house trailer. Holds 160 gallons of uh, fuel, 80 on each side, and uh, uh, we've got nice steps and fenders. And what we'll do now is just take a quick look inside of the trailer before we uh, deploy the uh, uh, landing plane. See, what you got <coughs> is a uh, Verdun tarp, and it's got these beautiful uh, quadruple uh, uplift bows, so when it's compressed, uh, the fabric doesn't uh, sag down and contact the blades. So we're uh, we got clearance in all directions for the uh, R22. Uh, we've got a, a generator so the trailer can operate uh, uh, remotely if the truck needs to leave. Uh, generator charges up the uh, deep cycle battery pack and as you'll see this is what operates the, uh, the scissors lift to move the, the helicopter on the truck. And then here is the landing platform. And we'll get a much better look at this um, uh, once we get things opened up. But you've got uh, uh, plenty of room. You've got a foot four and a half for the skids. You've got a couple of uh, feet on the sides uh, for kind of a comfort zone when you're landing. And uh, for transport, the, the little helicopter sits right in here uh, uh, perfectly. And their, their tie downs all around to demonstrate a little. Well, now we'll look at how the, the mechanism works. Basically, we've got a a big tarp covered uh, wagon from Verdun Tarps with a scissors lift inside. And so to open up the tarp, first open up the barn doors here, and each one's got a latch behind it. And then what we need to do is loosen up these, these two tensioning brackets. Oops. But you can see how that's when it's tensioned, it's, it, it's pulling back on the, on the tarp. And you've given us a nice little uh, bracket on the door to, to hold it while we're, while we're in the open position. This whole tarp effortless, effortlessly Slats. There's a, a locking pin inside there. This is the controller for the uh, landing platform up, down, forward, and reverse. Let's go plug it in and move the platform. Make sure no obstacles. So we'll reverse. And the scissors lift travels. And it travels very slowly so you can make completely sure that you're not breaking something expensive. There's the transport motor. It's a it's a rack and pinion. And uh, moves fore and aft along uh, along these tracks. You can see there's a uh, like a 90 degree angle that's one of the tracks. And at this position, if we had a helicopter in here, we'd be safe to raise it. Um, we'd raise and the main rotor would still clear the, uh, um, the deck up there. So now we'll raise it. Um, 
now we can just deploy these two uh, these two wings. Like so. And relatch. Okay. So continuing with the reverse. Here she comes. These will end up resting on these uh, pads, so it's got a solid, solid base of support on the on the trailer. And there's a manual. You can see a hand crank there. Uh, there's a manual override if uh, somehow your uh, electricity fails. Okay, this material. It's. Uh, it's the rubbery stuff they put on the floor of uh, horse trailers. Super strong. Super strong. Okay, so that looks to me like we're there. We center it on our pads, and all we need to do is go down. And there you go. Solid. Solid support. Um, one thing I forgot to mention. Is these compartments are designed to hold fuel bladders for helicopters. And there are no bladders in here now, but they'll hold a lot. I haven't measured the, the volume. You can probably put a month's worth of fuel on this thing if you wanted to configure it. And now, we're going we're gonna to close these doors so that nothing in the, um, on the inside can get blown around and, and damaged by the, by the rotor wire. So everything is fifth wheel deck secure, platforms uh, down and supported, uh, we're ready to go fly. successfully landed, meaning we're alive, and so what we'll do now is just open up the doors and stow the helicopter for transport. It's probably easier than 20. So we just slowly go on forward, and we're waiting for it to clear the, um, the support box. Yeah, of course, paying attention to the tip of the blade, but we're, we're good. It's built to fit. Okay, we're clear. And now we can come down. Okay, the scissors lift is fully down, and now we'll continue forward until the helicopter's in the travel position. Okay, it's at the limit switch, and we're there. So now, what we do is cover up the helicopter with the tarp. Thumbs all clear. Plenty of current, plenty of other blades will work between the guy, of course. No interference, no problem. There we go. And at this point, we're 
install the tensioning brackets. And I just tension up the tarp. One at a time. Okay, well now that the helicopter is stowed in the trailer in the travel position, we'll show you the variety of uh, uh, tie-downs that we use to keep this uh, load secure on the road. So starting under the front deck here, and watch your head there, as we we'll see we've got two great big tie-down straps uh, securing the um, the helicopter deck to the uh, trailer deck. We don't want the scissors lift or anything. Uh, moving. So we've got two of these uh, big straps under the the front end. I'll, I'll just show you now since we've got it open. This hatch, uh, what you do is you take the um, this connecting rod from the landing gear off to uh, get access to um, uh, work those straps or install those straps. So we'll just, we'll just put that rod back on there now. Here you get a set of the uh, a look of the at the rear set of uh, straps holding the platform of the trailer deck and then the, the lighter ones holding the uh, uh, helicopter to the platform. You'll notice they've got some shackles here. Obviously those need to come off for flight. And then perhaps the most important uh, aspect of trailering this helicopter is the blade support. And these are two boat blade supports from Robinson. They're made to protect the, the droop stops uh, during a rough ride and uh, Robinson does not recommend trailering their helicopters but I think with the soft ride of this trailer secure stowage and blade supports uh, I don't think there's any way we'll damage anything unless we roll the, the truck so there we go I think that's the, uh, the setup you might want to give a little quick view of the front blades Folks, 1R22 ready to travel. <laughs>